Ladies and noblemen, I have something to say. Though yet of Hamlet our dear brother's death, the memory be green, and that it us befitted to bear our hearts in grief, and our whole kingdom to be contracted in one brow of woe. Yet so far have fought with nature that we, with wisest sorrow, Think on him together with remembrance of ourselves. Therefore, our sometime sister, now our queen, have we taken to wife. And how now, Laertes, what be it with you, my dread lord, to have your leave and favor to return to France from whence I came to Denmark to show my duty in your coronation? Mmm, mm, okay. Yes, Laertes, you may have leave. But now, my cousin Hamlet and my son. A little more than kin and less than kind. How is it that the clouds still hang on you? Not so, my lord. I'm too much in the sun. I'd also like to return to Wittenberg. No can do, Prince of Denmark. Your mother and I should like it far greater if you stayed here with us. And by the way, when willest thou stop mourning the death of your deceased father? Tis unmanly grief. I shall obey thee, sir. Good, good. Your mother shall be very pleased to hear this. I must leave you now. Hail to your lordship, Prince Hamlet. I saw your father yesternight. Horatio, saw who? My lord, the king, your father. My father, the king? The king, your father. The king, my father. Your father, the king. So you're telling me you saw my father, the king. The king, your father. For God's love, tell me more. He appears upon the castle grounds, my lord. I must speak to him. Let us make haste. This way. What hour now? I believe it's just shy of midnight. Horatio, are you dumbstruck? You're as bright as a baby's bottom, reflecting the sun. Thou beest positive that thy watch is not slow, my lord. It's as bright as day, Horatio. Don't you doubt my ability to judge day from night? Perhaps, my lord, it is uh, the lunar... Solar eclipse. Oh, look what goes on in the courtyard. Mark me. Avenge thy father's murder. Murder? I was asleep in my garden, lying in the dirt with the worms, as I usually do, on Tuesday. And my brother, the new King Claudius, dropped a bit of poison in mine ear. He made it, though it seemed was an accident. And now he's taken my wife. Do not harm her, though. Leave her to heaven. But you must kill him, my son. You must kill him. I will, father. But not right away. Act a bit crazy first. Stage some wacky plays. Stab a few sissons with your sword. Stop buttoning your pants. If you wish, father. A couple of the players come tomorrow to practice for the play. Sounds good. The play's the thing wherein I'll catch the conscience of the king. That play was no coincidence. Methinks Hamlet has become aware of what has truly happened to his father. What if this cursed hand were thicker than itself with brother's blood?
Is there not rain enough in the sweet heavens to wash it white as snow? Where too serves mercy but to confront the visage of offense? My queen. The prince approaches. I shall hide behind the curtain and listen on his words to see if he is truly ill. Now, mother, what's the matter? You wanted to see me? Thou hast thy father much offended. Mother, you hath my father much offended. Stay seated, do not budge. Help! 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 Who is that? Be that the king? Ha! Oh, I am slain! O oh, Hamlet, what hast thou done? What a rash and bloody deed is this? A bloody deed, almost as bad, good mother, as kill a king and marry his brother. As kill a king? Aye, lady, it was my word. What shall I do? Thou turnst my eyes into my very soul. And there I see such black and grained spots as will not leave their ting. Repent the past. Avoid what's to come. And do not spread the compost on the weeds to make them ranker. I will not. Heed my word, good mother. See that is done. <laughs>